Hi everyone, it's Jamie Scrap and Stampers and I was busy creating so I wanted to share my projects with you guys. I made um, a couple of jewelry boxes made out of a tuna can. So I have one of those special tuna, um, not tuna, one of those special um, can openers that um, smooths out the edge when you, when you um, cut the lid open so I was able to use the lid in my um, jewelry box so um, this is what it looks like really quickly um, it opens like that and see this is the lid so I made this one for my mom let's see if I could focus in really good um, this one what I did was I cut out the, a piece of the um, paper collection here and then I glued on these little um, cutouts um, love laugh dream and then I um, put some wood veneer butterflies on here added two little pearls and then used these um, pearl sprays and then I added um, glossy accents to the top of it and then see these are the round um, pearl um, trim. That went perfect to go in the circle because it's very flexible and it can, um, you know, move into this round shape. Um, I tried doing the flat back pearls, but it doesn't, you know, turn as, as good as this would. So um, that's what I used. And the, um, the tuna can has a little indention here, so it was perfect to put the glossy accents in. And then around here, I added um, the paper. And then I added this trim, which is from Lavish Laces. Such a pretty trim. And then this um, bead trim here from um, Nat's Store, My Paper Passion. And then I added this little um, metal flower as my um, handle. But I wish I would have you know, used something bigger because it is a little bit hard to grab onto that. And then the bottom, I added some more paper and some flat back pearls for the feet. And then it just opens up like that. This one I put paper on, on top of the lid. And on the inside I put paper on the bottom and then some trim around here. And this one I didn't paint. Um, I tried, first I tried putting um, designer paper around on the inside like I did on the outside. But then I wasn't able to close this because of this lip here. It wouldn't it wouldn't fit back on so I had to take that off so then when I did the next one this is what this one looks like um, I used a bigger flower so it's easier to grab onto and open and um, so this one what I did was I painted it and I sprayed it with Lindy's so it looks a little bit um, rustic in there and this one I added some rosette trim from lavish laces I put that down on the bottom see this I left this one painted like that so it kind of looks rustic and then for this one I made this one for my sister and it says play love and there's a little rose a resin rose I had little little itty bitty butterflies in here with really tiny pearls um, little pearls from uh, Stampin' Up and then I cut this A out from a paper collection and there's two rhinestones there and then added the the glossy accents and then there's I threw some glitter on there and then the pearls around the rim of the uh, lid and then for the outside I used this paper collection and I used this trim from uh, Lavish Laces it's like a cotton flower trim and then this bling trim around there and then the bottom I used these bobbles for the feet and, and this is what the inside looks like so those were really fun to make um, so I made them to match my um, my sister's room she wanted uh, this Tiffany blue color and mustard yellow in this brown so 
that'll match her room and this one matches my mom's room she has like deep like fall um, maroon colors in her room so I hope they like that and um, so since I was making these I wanted to make an ornament out of the out of a lid so I created this and um, I made it the same way you know with the bead trim around the paper collection on the bottom and that's from graphic 45 um, I didn't do anything you know special to it just added some stickles to the image before I put the glossy accents on it and then added this little holly leaf there so you can see it's nice and shiny and um, I just painted the lid white and um, I popped these holes out with my crocodile and then I added this um, to hang it on the tree and then I put a little um, jingle bell there and then the bottom here is inspired by um, Cynthia the scrappy bookworm one she's always making these cute little like dominoes and um, bottle cap uh, charms and she always has a little you know charms hanging from the bottom so I wanted to do that but I don't know how to make charms I don't have the stuff to make charms but I had this dangly I think that was from Rebecca I am mama 24 I'm not sure um, but thank you um, whoever did give that to me and um, so I popped a hole and put that on with my crocodile and then I have this um, gold seam binding and um, the little tag from the Graphic 45 collection. Um, oh, I forgot what it's called, the one with the calendars. And that was from Letty, um, my little sweet peas. She, um, I won that from one of her giveaways. Thank you, Letty. So I thought it came out really super cute and I thought, you know, this could be a great idea to make some Christmas ornaments for your, um, your family and friends so um yeah you could see i was going to make these out of uh um salsa jar lids because i made i had made some magnets like this from the lids but i actually like the tuna can or you know any can better because it's thinner i like it better and i left the back like this i just sprayed it with some gold lindy stamp gang so you could see that it was a lid so I like that look so I hope you guys like the projects um, let me know what you think and um, I'm gonna start working on some more projects because I am in the mood for crafting so I'll talk to you guys later thanks for stopping by guys